Hi, so I'm busy explaining how you know this country is under judgment, right? Uh, we got given this new South Africa, a black government came on board and we overcame Bantu education. After overcoming Bantu education, they then destroyed the government of this country, decided to destroy the quality or the standard of education in all in the rest of the fields that are available for everybody that were in the days of apartheid white people, basically. All of the disciplines that they studied through uh, they they reduced the quality of information, or the quality of education. First of all, the the, the, the content uh, that you study, they reduced the difficulty level of it. There was so much sabotage, guys, in the days of uh, not apartheid, but the post apartheid government. I'm big into it, just like it. There's so much noise. Anyway, the post apartheid government. So you can understand how much it sold this country over to Satan, even though it claimed to come in the name of God. They made it like, so it was just, oh, come on, like seriously? They, they automatically assumed that black kids are, are going to struggle, that black kids are going to struggle to learn like white people. No one understand that the black government took over and yet they took psychological advice from the previous uh, like regime as to what is likely going to be the learning curve going forward i can understand you gauging rightly so that a kid that is in grade 10 that will, as you guys of course so many interruptions i can understand how you can gauge that a kid that is like in grade 10 uh, that has been studying under the black education system in apartheid. I can understand how you would need to kind of gradually or, you know, like just slowly introduce them into the standard of education that white kids were getting in their schools because they did not learn algebra at that level. They did not learn science, physics, all these things at that level. So you can't just start them with the advanced level of grade 10. You can't just start them there. I can understand that because of the historical undertones. But you don't get to make that assumption with kids, with like, you know, grade not, grade one, like from the very beginning. But it was advice that was actually taken by the South African black government. They let, they threw us to the dogs. I can't say that enough. Mandela signed our country over to the devil. I don't know why nobody doesn't see that. All right, anyway, so this is what happened. They assumed, okay, so because of the proficiency, when did I move to an English school? I started out Kodi Kolong Tsako Sowe Toko Kasi, very formative, I, I, grade two, grade two, it was as little as grade two, right? Uh, when I moved to a, an English school, I, my first grade there was grade two. It was the second grade, all right? Uh, I was supposed to be in grade three because from in Soweto, I was in grade three, but they downgraded me after doing an aptitude test to grade two because my English was not quite apparently allegedly there where it needed to be. Uh, so they took me back one grade. But understand that this is what they did to the education system of the whole country, do you understand? After apartheid was uh, abolished. They said that black kids are slow learners uh, based on race. Like they still went and took counsel based on race. Like this noise is agitating the living daylights out of me. I cannot deal. Anyway, whatever. They said that uh, great kids, uh, well, uh, black children, kids basically of other demographic uh, groups are not, uh, they don't have the level of learning or aptitude that existed historically. These are racial undertones, just an assumption that we are less intelligent than the brain of a, like the same black girl and the same white girl being born at the exact same time. The white girl, it was assumed based on racist ideals. Everything is so loud. I think it's better when I close the door. There we go. Based, based on, on racist ideals, it was assumed that the uh, the white girl would do better or the black girl uh, would not do so well. So they changed grading systems to pass people, pass kids at lower and lower, like pass marks. They not only did not catch up with the rest of the world in terms of what was the kind of content that was appropriate to train at a certain grade. Like when do kids start learning about like calculus, for instance, we didn't, we never touched it until we got to university in the school. I was shocked to learn that uh, like American kids learn calculus in high school. I only 
started doing calculus in a first year university and even then only because I did a BCom. So there are South African kids that or South African students that will never ever know calculus because they did a basic BA or a BCom or a, sorry, a, B, a BA or some other non-mathematical like uh, course at university. So they made a decision to withhold from the training and instruction and education of the country as kids are based on the fact that we're getting all integrated now and they not only refuse to catch up with the times as to what we need to teach the kids but based on black and colored and indian kids coming into these white schools they also um downgraded pass marks uh, pass marks as to what what it means for you to pass what is the, the enough for you to get to the next grade and i watched all of that happen so we were assumed dumb and the black government who took over education like you know i don't even understand why black people allow themselves to be duped in that way because there are so many apartheid struggle heroes that upon getting exiled in other countries during the struggle they went to university in those countries and they were able to study and pass properly and yet they assumed that kids born of their wombs of their loins with their genes can't do basic arithmetic at rudimentary stages at do rudimentary levels like kids cannot study at that proficiency level they exchanged notes with the prior regime and talk for advice a still largely racist regime as to how to you know gradually infuse the remain the, the, the previously disadvantaged masses into our schools and among the bodies of council it's hot in here i can't like literally i can't leave the door closed uh, among the the the, 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 the body uh, I'm, I'm sorry i'm even losing my train of thought because it's just so much noise going on around but the advice was along the lines of we're bringing dumb people into the schools and we as a country cannot be giving stats across the world of our children um that are bizarre and low we can't we have got this many human beings that come into our schools every year and if we don't push them through the system <clears throat> There's going to be an overpopulation. It's too long on the outside. There's going to be an overpopulation of uh, kids in one grade that are not moving on ahead. And there's going to be a little bit of a chock -a block in our schools. So we have to squeeze them through. We have to squeeze them through. The kids in the higher grades, like the grade 10s and whatnot that came from uh, Soweto schools, uh, basically schools that were previously disadvantaged, they did not get the the new South Africa like education at all. They just finished them off in that weak education. Uh, but they had an opportunity to, with the kids that were starting at the bottom, to train them at the same level of excellence that the previous regime was studying at, the kids there. So everybody was subjugated to the tyranny of being made dumber by our government's decision to say that because of how slow and how unable to learn all of these other previously disadvantaged groups are, uh, we are going to not only refuse to update our curriculum from across the planet to gauge uh, as we are measuring ourselves in a barometer when we're not going to update what we teach kids um based on world standards we're just going to give them what we think they can handle and this was based on race and then secondly they downgraded over the years as they progressed the pass mark when i started um out in the very beginning stages of my uh, education, like grade one, like at the bottom, primary school, the, the like very, very lower levels of primary, pass mark all the way up, up until, all the way I believe up until I finished primary was 50%. If you got half, you passed. If you got half right, you were pushed through the system. When I got to grade eight, grade nine, this would be 1998, 1999, the government started to notice that a whole bunch of kids were failing and they were being left behind in former grades, causing an overpopulation in those lower grades. So what was their solution to get these kids pushed through the system? Instead of doing a, an in-depth analysis, a little bit of a deep dive to figure out what is the issue? Is it an adjustment issue? Is it a home issue? Is it a travel issue? Is it a poverty issue? Instead of doing a deep dive, bringing in all different kinds of behavioral psychologists and cognitive psychologists and uh, I don't know, like whatever other body of people that study the behavior of learners in school, Schools. instead of doing that because we came out of apartheid and it would indeed be there would be some kind of 
uh, or like you know initial like warming up exercises that in schools would have had to be done to infl- to, to introduce uh, kids from from you know other groups where th- that were not n- uh, initially part of the Model C or the uh, whatever you get my point. Instead of doing all of that stuff, they made a decision to downgrade the standard of education in this country. It was bad enough we were not learning the same things that the whole world was learning. It was it it also became terrible because even with what it is that we were learning, they kept on uh, reducing the standard at which knowledge retention was accepted uh, to move you ahead. Like, if you got... it, Guys, it, it, it was so bad. It went from... They, they started to grade it, first of all, right? So, maths... There was a time when maths was just maths. It was just maths. Geography was just geography. It was just geography. Um, you know, uh, English was just English. It was just English. But then they introduced standard grade and higher grade. They introduced that. Like, in primary school, there was no difference between math standard grade and um, and, and, and English... Uh, sorry, and maths higher grade. However, when I got to high school, this was like a total thing. And it started in the time when my sister was in high school. And I was still in primary school. Next part. 